This your boy Diamond Blue. Whoa, pretty Ricky. Let's go. We gon' get tipsy. 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 Like this, song. this is a nice little song right here, man. This ain't even a bad song. This is a nice little cut. That nigga messed the song up for me. What's up, man? Welcome to the Mac Lessons Radio Show. I am your host. My name is Mr. Tariq Elite, also known as Tariq King Flex Nasheed, also known as Denzel Sausageton, and I'm broadcasting live out here in Waikiki, Hawaii. I'm actually outside right now. I'm a block away from the beach. Posted up by the pool. I set up shop so I could chop up game because I didn't want to be cooped up in the spot. So I wanted to come on outside and chop up game and flow from the Survivor Scrolls while I'm out here. Now, if the audio sounds a little different or a little quirky, it's not the same equipment I use at home. So just bear with me if the audio isn't as up to par as it is at home. I don't know what it sounds like. This is my first time doing a show outside. But I digress. What's up, y'all? I'm glad to have everybody tuning in. Let me turn this music down a little bit. Like I said, I'm glad to have everybody tuning into the show. Today's show is brought to you by MacLessonsRadio.com and MacLessons.com. That's where you can get all your macking needs. You can get all the special shows. You can get the Hawaii special. If you want to see what it's like out here in Hawaii, go to MacLessons.com and order the Hawaiian special very good show you can order all my pay-per-view specials and you can go to artofmackin.com and get the books theartofgoldigging.com and get the books anyway but today's show I want to flow from the Survivor Scrolls let me put on some Mackin music let me put on some Mac music so for those who don't know there was a video that's been circulating around the net for the last week or so of the guy in the group Pretty Ricky. The guy in the group Pretty Ricky by the name of Sexy Spec. I hate to call a dude sexy, but Spectacular, AKA Sexy Spec, did a video with some very moist behavior. This dude did a video on YouTube of him in his drawers in some red stank ass Spider-Man underoos twerking his balls and he thought that was the sexy thing to do so a lot of people are clowning this dude right now and rightfully so and if you haven't seen it you go to YouTube and type in Pretty Ricky Sexy Spec Spectacular whatever the dude's name is, SPEC. And the SPEC stands for SUSPEC. And that's what I want to talk about, man. I want to, we we need to have an anti-moist movement right now. We really need to have an anti-moist movement because there's just so much moisture going on in the game. A lot of confusion, a lot of ass backwards mentality going on out here in the game so we, we need to bring some clarity so the first thing we need to do is become anti-moist and watching this YouTube video of the young man from the group Pretty Ricky and I like their music these guys make good music but the moist behavior has to go with our young men the moist behavior has to stop and I talk about this all the time but we really need to have an anti-moist movement Because this dude, again, in the video, he's shaking his booty like a bitch. With the red, stank, dingy draw. The draw them draws are so tight and stank looking. I know they got all types of stains in them. This dude probably got all types of dookie stains in the crevices of them damn draws. 
If he washed them, he gotta put some woolite right in the crack and then soak it in the sink and then put it in the washing machine to get all the stains out. I mean, it's a real stank video and a dude should not be making no video like that. It would be stank if it was a woman doing it, but a dude doing it, it's just uncalled for. And at the beginning of the video, he was like, yeah, this is for the ladies. Um, no, it ain't. Now, I think hood rats kind of like that moist behavior from some dudes because gender roles have been changed in the black community so much. And I'm going to get on that in a minute. And when I say moist, man, I'm not, when I say anti-moist, I don't mean anti-gay. There's a big difference between being gay and moist. See, moist is right there in between. Moist is when you're suspect. You dig what I'm saying? It's like when you're not sure about something 100%. Like if somebody says, go check the baby's diaper to see if the baby's wet. The baby, the diaper isn't wet, but it's damp. So it's not dry, it's not wet, it's damp. It's right there in between. If somebody says, look outside to see if it's raining, it's not sunny, it's not raining, but there's precipitation. And with a lot of dudes, he might be straight, he might be gay, but what we do know, he's moist. And that's what I mean by moist. Don't be in the middle. If you're going to be one, be one or the other. All this moist, metrosexual bullshit that's going on, choose a side and get up in there. I'm sick of all this little androgynous bullshit that's going on with the dudes out here, especially in the black community, man. There's a lot of noise going on out here in Waikiki. So excuse the noise. But like I said, man, we really need to have an anti-moist movement. And that just shows the ass-backwards nature of the black community now. I mean, there's moist behavior in the white community, but in our community, the gender roles have been so reversed, it's insane. I was at, before I came here to Hawaii, I went to um, um, Six Flags Magic Mountain. And there's a lot of hood rats up there at Magic Mountain and Six Flags and in Los Angeles up there in um, Valencia. But what I noticed, man, I noticed a lot of the black women were studs. A lot of black women were dressed like dudes. I saw so many sisters walking around with their pants sagging with wife beater t-shirts on and do-rags. looking gangster and all the dudes were walking around with skinny jeans and scarves. I mean, the black community is so ass backwards right now. Black women have taken on the dominant role and the brothers have taken on the submissive role. And this shit is really getting out of hand. So we, we, we need to just cut to the chase and just stop all the, anti, the the moist behavior. We really need to have a strong anti-moist movement, man. And when, fellas, don't let anybody peer pressure you into doing moist shit. If a nigga's like, hey, man, let's go get some skinny jeans, say, no, play, I'm anti-moist. Hey, man, let's go get the brand new scarves and wear the shit that Kanye West is wearing. No, player, I'm anti-moist. Hey, man, let's go get us some man purses. Player, I'm anti-moist. Let's go get our eyebrows arched. I'm anti-moist. Tell these dudes, man, I'm anti-moist. That's not how I'm rolling. But like I said, man, the gender roles, man, have become so ass backwards right now, man. I was looking at another video on YouTube and there was a rapper by the name of Charles Hamilton. <coughs> Excuse me. A guy named Charles Hamilton, he's a rapper. I haven't heard too much of his stuff. I mean, this really, it was the first time me hearing about this guy. But there was a video of him doing an interview and he was with this chick that he, I guess he dates her, kind of dates her, he's hitting it. And they were kind of playing around, freestyling about each other. She made a little freestyle rap about him, then he made a little freestyle rap about her. And both of them were getting personal and some of the shit he said kind of hit hard and then she hauled back and swung on him and hit him in the chin.
and this video circulated all around the net and i noticed some websites were saying shit like well you go girl you should have hit him in his chin that's right girl you should have hit him harder i mean y'all better stop telling women this bullshit i know the gender roles have been reversed but y'all keep telling these sisters that it's cool to swing on dudes and what's going to happen they're going to swing on the wrong dude i've said this on about five or six of my shows sisters black women if you're listening do not let anybody egg you on i know the gender roles have been reversed I know that in your community, you're the most dominant one and black men have taken on a submissive role. But ladies, you are going to run across the wrong dude and try to pull that bullshit and something fucked up is going to happen. Especially out on the West Coast. You're not going to swing on one of them Oakland dudes. You're not going to swing on one of them San Diego dudes. You're not going to swing on one of them L.A. dudes. Something's going to happen. You're going to get your ass put in a trunk somewhere. I'm telling you this from what I've seen. I've seen women break bad on niggas in public in L.A. and on the West Coast, and them bitches disappeared. But on the the video with Charles Hamilton, he made another video after he got swung on by this young lady. He apologized to her. I mean, what kind of shit is that? And this is a, he's a little moist dressing dude himself with pink tight garanimal shirts. So, fellas, enough is enough, man. We really need to have an anti-moist movement. Stop the insanity. There's such an imbalance in the community right now. It's just fucked up. Women out here beating dudes' asses in the streets. Dudes booty shaking like bitches, man. Stop. Stop. We need to reset the game. The whole black community needs to be reset. I'm going to do a very special show about the black community, the African-American community. I might do that next week. It's going to be a very deep, 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 deep show. Very, very deep show. But like I said, man, the gender roles in the continental United States have been reversed. There's no balance. The women are most dominant. The men are more submissive. Now, the other day, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I did a radio interview for a radio station in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Now, in the Caribbean, the mind state is a little bit different. I mean, they have poverty, they have crime, and they have things like that, but the gender roles are not reversed. The men know who they are, the women know who they are, and everybody has their place. In Caribbean culture, women don't, women kind of know not to step out of line too, too much. You can't come at dudes the way the American black women come at dudes here or in the continental U.S. That shit don't really fly in the Caribbean because those dudes will go nutty on one of those females out there. But like I said, I did an interview with the radio station yesterday and it was two ladies, Alma and um, um, Sonya. I forgot the name of the radio show, but they were very wonderful ladies. We had a very good time on the show. And I was getting to know, I was asking them about the Caribbean culture, the Virgin Island culture, because I've never been there. And I've been planning on going out there. And we were talking about me coming out there to do a lecture. And I asked the ladies, I'm like, well, ladies, what are the men like out there on the island? And they got quiet as mice. They didn't say shit. They were like, ooh, ooh, um, um, ooh, Tariq, you're going to get us stoned out here. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it more after the show. And I found that very interesting that those women in the Caribbean, they didn't dare say anything disrespectful about the black men because they knew that there will be consequences. So you don't have that, the quote unquote white daddy backup system as black American women have. See, they got the quote unquote, what I call the white daddy backup system they know that the, the police will be on their side when it comes to dealing with black women and black men. So they know that they have that advantage. They know they have the white man in their back pocket to back them up with their bullshit. That's why they come at dudes fucked up. For example, Chris Brown, you see the shit he's going through. No telling what happened between him and Rihanna. People talk all that shit, well you should never hit women, blah, 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 blah. You don't know what happened in that car. You don't know what that woman did to that dude. To make him go there and you see that he's paying for it in the court of law 
So black women know this, so they use that as an incentive to kind of jump bad at dudes. I read something that the rapper Eve, she was talking real greasy about Chris Brown last week, talking about, yeah, Chris Brown this, he's that, people should stop supporting him. If a, if a dude hit me, I'm going to beat his ass. I'm like, Eve, tell Eve I said shut the fuck up. Tell Eve, little pumpkin mouth ass, I said shut the fuck up because she ain't going to do shit. But go tell. She ain't going to do a goddamn thing but run her biscuit mouth ass somewhere and snitch on brothers. That's all she going to do. She thinks she's that, that character Terry from Barbershop. She, she's taking her role a little bit too seriously. But tell Eve I said shut the fuck up. But like I said, man, in the Caribbean culture, man, those women know not to break bad. They, the culture and the gender roles are very defined. There's no mix up. The men are men, the women are women. And the women have their place, the men have their place. Sometimes it's more extreme than others. Like in Jamaica, man, it's not, it's illegal to be a homosexual. So if you act too moist, they'll literally kill you out there, which I don't agree with. They shouldn't do that. But I'm just letting you know the extremes of some cultures to maintain the gender roles. But like I said, man, fellas, the skinny jeans and flip-flops and the arched eyebrows and the, the dainty little scarves and the extra medium shirts. Cut all that shit out, man. I want you players to be anti-moist out here in the game, man. We're having an anti-moist movement. Keep it anti-moist. And people, if you have children, if you have little boys, check his little moist behavior early on. Because sometimes kids... You know, little boys, sometimes they they may act a little feminine, but it doesn't mean that they're moist. But sometimes that little behavior goes beyond just feminine. So you got to check their behavior at a young age. And I got a list, people. I got a quick little list for you <clears throat> of five ways you can tell if your son might be moist. Everybody grab a pen. Let me give you these real quick before I get up out of here. Quick list, people. Five ways to tell if your son might be moist. Um, number one, if he deep throats his baby bottle, he might be a little moist. Um, number two, if he cut his underoos into a thong, your little boy might be a little moist. Um, number three, if he has KY jelly on his tricycle seat, your son might be a tad bit moist. Um, number four, if he knows all the dance steps to High School Musical, you might have a moist adolescent male on your hands. And number five, um, if you look at his Christmas list and he wrote to Santa Claus asking for some apple bottom jeans, he might be a little moist. Anyway, y'all, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons Radio Show. I just wanted to get that off my chest real quick. I'm out here working on this new book, man. I'm, I, I got to get back into the groove of things. I didn't do a show last week, and everybody was hitting me up, like, come on, do a show, do a show. So I wanted to just put something together for you real quick. Shout out, everybody. Everybody, you can hit me up on Twitter. That's Twitter slash Tariq Nasheed. Everybody hit me up. Hit me up on MySpace, myspace.com slash Tariq underscore Nasheed. Um, I'm going to reveal the name of the new book in a few weeks. I don't want to reveal it yet because I'm right in the middle of it. And this book that I'm writing, man, is going to be a good one. It's a book for the fellas about stepping your game up. I can't wait to tell you about it. I can't wait for you guys to read it. But it's some real good game in it for the fellas out there. And women, you can soak the game up too if you want to understand men. But this book is going to take the game to a whole different level um don't forget check out maclessonsradio.com to check out all the archive shows maclessons.com to get all the pay-per-view shows i will holler at you guys next week peace